In this video, I want to show you how to set up a WooCommerce order bump. So what is an order bump? An order bump is when you make an offer at the point of checkout for a complimentary product in order to increase the average cart value from your WooCommerce store. So let me give you my example. I've set up a shop here and I'm selling sunglasses and I'm gonna offer an order bump at checkout for these sunglasses wipes. So buy sunglasses. I've already committed to buying from you. I've gone to checkout. I'm about to check out and a nice little offer is placed at that point of checkout. So I've signaled my intent to buy from you and then I've been offered a little bump to increase the average cart value by $10 in this case. So I'm also gonna offer a little discount of 20% discount for these sunglasses wipes when somebody goes to buy sunglasses. So let me show you what that looks like. I add a cart, view cart, I'm happy with my purchase and I proceed to check out. And then we have this here, this little order bump, show me 20% off and there's a little checkbox and we have a little discount of from $10 down to $8. Click on that, automatically updates my cart and adds that sunglasses wipe. So I've increased my cart value by about 10% there. So if enough customers do that and you make that a compelling enough offer, you can increase your cart value by a considerable amount. Let's look at the back end and see how that is configured. So I've installed this plugin, Upsell Order Bump Offer for WooCommerce. I'll include a link below so you can get that plugin for yourself. There's two versions, there's a the free version and then there's the pro version. Pro obviously gives you more features, but the free version is good enough to test and see if order bumps work for you, I think. So we'll get this new menu item, order bumps. Let's go to order bump settings. Here's the order bump I've created. Let's edit that. So I've called it sunglasses wipe. And I've said, if anybody adds this product to their cart, that will trigger my order bump. We can do it by categories of products. So if I had multiple sunglasses, I could select the sunglasses category. We can also exclude by role. So if you only want certain people to get this order bump, you can do that. And then how to schedule it. So it's set to run daily in my instance, but you can have it run, you know, certain days of the week. Certain pro options, you can set the priority of the order bump. Uh, you can set a minimum court value to then trigger an order bump. Smart offers, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you get the idea, there's various additional pro features, such as a countdown timer to create some sort of sense of urgency for people to add to cart. So that's the product that will trigger the bump. And here's my bump below. So there's my sunglasses wipes. I can give it a discount if I wanted to, or I could have no discount. And I've dropped in my image. And here's the appearance of the offer. I've just gone for the default one. Bit garish in my mind. I will probably change the designs, which I can do here. Change the colors. Perhaps that green is a bit too much. I want something a bit more muted. Like that. And perhaps that background colors a bit much as well. Let's go something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a developer, not a designer. You get the idea. We can change the colors and match our theme. There is some psychology around the garish colors. It drags people's eyes immediately to the order bump and they'll look at it and see it as soon as it hit the, the card. Some global settings to think about. Uh, we can completely enable or disable the order bumps. We can create links. We can have a pop-up or offer without pop-up. I'm not a fan of pop-ups on a checkout, so I've just gone without. Uh, there's an option to hide the bump if somebody says they don't want it, and then the position on the checkout. So let's move it a bit. Now if we go back to the checkout, 
you see our colors have changed and the position of the order bump has been moved. We have some statistics to see how many people have accepted the offer and if they've actually checked out. So let me just do a checkout. Spell Los Angeles. <laughs> it's close enough. Billing phone is not a quick discussion on checkout friction. Why would you make a phone number required? I think that's really bad. Uh, form not everyone wants to give you their phone number over so don't make your phone number uh, required so there's the order if I go back to that sales report I can see that my conversion rate is 63 percent and my order bump additional sales are eight dollars incredibly useful feature and over time those little bumps will increase your average cart value and generate more income via your WooCommerce store if you need help implementing order bumps on your sites, why not check out our WooCommerce webmaster plans at wooist.com.